Good afternoon to everyone in Grand Community. Good afternoon to fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, comrades, fellow fighters, and all. All the subscribers of the grants, all the grants in Nigeria, and mostly the exact grants which everything have testified that there is money we are anticipating for God in His infinite mercy to give to us. I greet you all this blessed day and blessed afternoon. My name is Orwell Uchenna Ndubezi, and I am making this voice note to address Nigerians today, being 25th of May. 2024. Um, Please, I, I beg everybody that, is listen, that will be listening to this voice note to pay attention attentively. If for your own good, for our own good, if truly God is the one who brought you to grand community, trying to have, help you financially, trying to favor you financially, bless you financially, I want to talk to us. I repeat, I am from Abia State, precisely an Igbo man from Abia State. But I am a comrade, executive member in All Grand Pressure Group. And I want to tell you people, my name is Orwell Luchan and Dubezi. I can never take a side based on sentiment, based on tribe or religion, because that is an abomination before the eyes of God. I will only stand wherever God stands, where there is truth. If AJPGN is not standing by the truth, I will remove my hand because there will be consequence at the long run. Apostle Ken Wakama, the vision bearer of UAAG, or will I say the country director of UAAG, is an able man from what they say precisely. If to take side is the right of sin in the eyes of God, I would stand by my brother, Apostle Ken Wakama. And I want to say this in clear. I do not hate Apostle Ken Wakama because he's my brother, he's an evil man. I do not hate anybody. But one thing I have come out to say to Nigerians is the truth, so that everybody should mind what you are doing. Because there will be a grievous consequence if, whether knowingly or unknowingly, ignorantly or be manipulated howsoever you take a side and be a part of any move as i am seeing any move of being an instrument to cause chaos in grand community to make government to see atakata chaos see that the the, the the community there is no serenity in the community there is no peace in the community because in every nation, whenever there is financial activities like this, things of this nature, the government will always need serenity in the community for them to be able to release um, the blessing God has for his people. But right now, God wants to bless Nigerians in whichever means him have chosen as Almighty God, who owns this project. I repeat, who owns this project, Almighty God. Whatsoever means trying what he wants to use and give us this money, I stand by God. But there are people who have decided, there are people who have decided, I repeat, there are people who have decided that if it's not them, if it's not me, let the cake scatter. If it's not me, let us shatter the bread. Nobody will be part, nobody will get it unless it's not me. And there are so many people that they are manipulating. Manipulation is going on. That's why I want to say this. In the judgment, ignorance is not an excuse. There is no excuse in the time of judgment. So let us be mindful of what we are doing. The side we are taking and the, every activity we are participating, we are being, uh, involving ourselves in, in this grand community. At this dying minute, because there are some Maradona that are playing hard now to scatter this national divine blessing that come as a grand financial empowerment. I want to say this, I want to elaborate and show light to so many things because some people have taken the mission of blackmailing Pastor John, Pastor Felix, Abdul, and executive members of AJPGN. 
I, I started with them as long as UAAG move or project is consigned and uh, our involvement in everything, I started with them all together. So I am vividly, I mean, qualified to come and tell Nigerian things. And uh, knowing that I am from Abia State, a brother to Apostle Ken Wakama, but I, hear, I will tell you people this, I fear no one. I will not spare any life, deceit, or manipulation. I will only speak the truth. I don't care whether it hurt AJBGN or it hurt UAEG management. Thank you. I want to tell everybody that is manipulating the people and the people that have been manipulated, there are many voice notes that is out there now. They are blackmailing that it is AJPG and that is stopping UAEG from disbursing the money they promised Nigeria or it is um, disqualifying Apostle Ken Wakama. That is a manipulative, wicked lies. I repeat, whatsoever that is happening to Apostle Ken Wakama these days is what I want to shed light to. I want to let Nigerians to know. Whatsoever that is happening to Apostle Ken Wakama today is being caused by him and he should not put the blame on any other person. He should stop putting the blame on AJPGN because people from his camp is the one pointing accusing figures on AJPGN saying that we are the one stopping him from disposing his grants. We are writing petition, we are doing this, we are doing that. Please and please, AJPGN executive members and the people that are working with us, Pastor John and Pastor Felix, is not writing any petition against Apostle Ken Wakam, but rather have even secretly tried to stop the things that can take Apostle Ken Wakam to prison, being committed in one way or the other. Which are the things that government is looking at this day, and they are saying that they are they are looking at because there are many petitions that is going on i want to start by from this one there was a time uaag started collecting ten ten thousand. after that time another they wrote out another collection 35 at five thousand. after that time at the time of screening they requested hundred hundred thousand from people now we were all shocked one very evening and afternoon when we saw the UAAG management on the television broadcast to Nigerians, he denied that he had never collected money from Nigerians, apart from the 100,000 Naira, which he um, borrowed from Nigerians, so to say. After when Nigerians had that, I know the cause I was receiving. Everybody was saying, what is this? What is this? That this is a naked lie. Everybody was amazed and surprised i lie not let god bear me witness before you know it many people were provoked enemies of uaag now begin to write petitions many petitions was written against apostle ken wakama because of that open brokers because there is atom of lie let me use the word atom of lie because somebody will say that i'm assaulting them there is an atom of lie in it nigerians was it only hundred hundred thousand naira borrowed that you people um was requested of for the process of these grants and the you people paid everybody know the answer nigerians was provoked many people that do not like the person of Aposke and Wakama and the UAAG, they begin to write petition. I can remember vividly. There is a, a honorable young man called, um, I don't want to mention his name, but he is close to us. He was the person that helped us to arrest Theophilus, who was contacted to come and arrest Aposke and Wakama so that he will face the outcome of his, his address. <laughs> you know, somehow I'm trying to skip saying it is a lie. His address of full of lies. I'm trying to escape from it. But may God give me the grace. Let me say things. I write it the way it is. Because I want to defend AJBGN. I mean, I want to say things clear because of the way things are going. Please. Let me not use the word defend. I will not defend them if they are not innocent. Now hear this. Abdul was the person when he heard that there is a serious move to arrest Apostle Ken Wakama the way Theophilus was arrested. Abdul, I am beating my chest. Abdul was the one who called, a, put a call across 
to the person that was to be used to arrest Apostle and Wakama. And the word of Abdul, let me say this before an open heaven, before he that judges all at all, Almighty God. Abdul told that young, the man, the honorable that they wanted to use to arrest Apostle and Wakama because of the lies he, he said to Nigerians in his book as that he never collected any money from Nigerians, only the 100,000 100, Naira um, loan. When Abdul called the Honorable, he told him, please and please, if you arrest Apostle and Wakama and he be in trouble, you have put me also in trouble. Please, I am on a mission to deliver divine mandate to the hand of Nigerians. And Apostle and Wakama should not be arrested for. But now, please, overlook this calling they are calling you, overlook all this whole thing. My question is, somebody who did this behind for Apostle and Wakama, is he an enemy to Apostle and Wakama? That is one. Another one is this. When the committees called Apostle and Wakama some time ago to come and give account of, because the government committee is trying to scrutinize and not just scrutinizing, they are trying to examine the people involved involved in this um, grants delivery to Nigerians to know the antecedent, to know the kind of personality they are, their morality, in order to know if they are qualified to give it to them to deliver to Nigerians because accountability is much required. And when you are seeking for accountability, you will look at the reputation, character of people. Now. They summon, they summon Aposke and Wakama to come and give account of all the money he realized at the time of screening by the um, loan activity, loan whatever. Now, you people, open your ear and hear well. Because AJPGN, Pastor Felix, Pastor John, Abdul and all of us have been blackmailed as the stumbling block to, this pro to the progress of Nigerians in this project. When the man was summoned, do you know what he wrote? What I am telling you people is still in the bid for the government that approved to it. He wrote that the amount he realized from the 100,000 100, Naira um, loan is was 120 million Naira. I will still come to how he explained how the way he spent it and still comment because there are, the whole thing was full of lies and the government saw it and they are watching now but my people was asked my people was asked to audit the account of UAAG that was used i mean the uh, sanctuary wealth account that was used to collect that money and uh, it will shock all of you even me the day i had it i was shocked the evidence is still with my people. They hide it in order to save Apostle Ken, whom people from his camp he's sending to blackmail all Grand Bajor Group. He declared before the government that what he got realized from that 100,000 naira loan is 120 million naira. But I tell you, because we have the evidence with us, that what he got was 300 and up to 390 million naira. Above 300 million naira was, according to the audition of his account, according to what he realized. And the evidence is still with my people. The evidence is still with my people. And when my people was asked, when Abdul, Pastor John, and Pastor Felix was asked to send that audition, that evidence of the account activities within the screening time, borrowing money, 100,000, 100, my people look at it, they say no. That they called and pleaded secretly. Maybe he do not know. Apostle and Wakama, maybe he do not know it today that the 100,000 Naira account statement, I mean, account verification of the activity of that 100,000 Naira during the time of screening is with my people. The very people that they have been, that are being, that are being accused of enemy, being enemy to Apostle Ken and stopping the <laughs> blessing of Nigerians. May God help us. This Apostle, Pastor Felix, Pastor John, and Abdul pleaded on the authorities and asked them, please, if we release what we have discovered, if we release it to you people, this will send this man to prison. Please, move not overlook this. Let's move forward. We want to deliver money to Nigeria. That is all. Move not leave this. My question to Nigerians, what I'm telling you people, 
my people still have the evidence of what I am telling you people now. The evidence of the 100,000 Naira loan is still with my people and it's above 300 million Naira. But, the, but what Apostle Ken declared to the government is 120 million. And guess what? He said that, and when he was asked, how did you make use of it? He said that, one, that he, he have used the money and pay all the workers. I want to ask you people, the workers, because I know many workers. I brought one of them, the guy, they never paid him anything. I want to ask you Nigerians that works at that time of screening, did Apostle Ken Wakamad, the, the management of UAH, did he pay you people money? Because he said that he paid you people money. He began to give a short man life plenty. He began to say how he spent the 120 million. Whereby it's not even 120 million. We don't even want to go there. But what I want to say is that my people have the evidence of that 100,000 loan and it amount over 300 million. They still have the evidence. They still have the evidence. Now, but they, when they call the under authority, they say, no, please, Moon and leave this because if we send what we have discovered and send it to you people, this man is going to prison. This is the person, these are the people that they are being, they are accusing. UAAG management is accusing Pastor John, Pastor Felix Abdu and the executive members of AJBGN today that we are the evil. We are the evil that don't want this was meant to happen. Let go, George. The manipulation is going on. I want to say this <coughs> and say this clear. Please, this voice note is going to be lengthy, but listen to it for your own good. Because God will judge all of us so later. Now, hear this. The, the if Apostle Ken is being disqualified or being disqualified tomorrow, I don't know. It's not my prayer. But hear this. It is the first antecedent of Apostle Ken that is his trouble. Let him stop pointing and giving fingers to AJPG and I am speaking to him now and all his cohorts. Let him stop pointing and giving fingers to innocent people that is even defending him behindly. That is even defending him behindly. Let him stop this, this manipulation, this manipulation, this game that is on. If your past antecedent, whether you be UAH, you be you be all grand pressure group, you be Tioba Global Machine or whatsoever, if you what you have done, your antecedent is disqualifying you, please take your blame upon your shoulder and stop putting blame upon people. That is irresponsibility. Please, because my advice is this: the government people, they are not foolish people. They are watching, they are watching. Even our court, they are watching. Many of the activities in that community are being attended. <laughs> they are attending to it, they are watching it. They are following everything up. And they are watching everybody and their ulterior motives. AJPGN, when they discover that, if they release, if they release the the evidences of what transpired, I mean, how much Apostle Ken Wakama and UAH management realized from the 100,000 naira loan when they discovered it, AJPGN withheld that evidence because they, they are not they, they pleaded not to release it because that if they release it, ah, that this will cause issue for Apostle Ken that can even land someone to prison. This is the best poll. This is the people that UAAG management is supporting and prison fingers. That they, that we are the people, that my people is the people that is stopping their disbursement, child. Abdul and all the rest of us have been supreme sacrifices, doing everything to make sure that this money gets to Nigerians. And it pains me to my bone. It pains me in my heart that we have been misunderstood and we have been blackmailed by wicked ones. God will judge. God will judge. But one thing I want to warn Nigerians, be you who you say you are agitated, or you, you say you are this, you are saying you are that. And you are listening to lies because there are people that they can lie that even the devil himself is learning from them. He's learning from them. People, now I, I want to ask some questions, so please. Everybody that works with Apostle Ken Wakama ends up being offended. I want to ask Apostle Ken Wakama, LJPG is an enemy. It's true. <laughs> um, this man, I watch, I watch Mbaga Chuku. Uh, let me put aside the, the um, international community was so, uh, 
international community uh, um, activities and all that. Let me talk about how dedicated drama man and passionate, no matter whether the international community um, things, whether it was ignorant or not. But I saw passion. The man stood by UAAG and I was scared. No one can My question is, what separated Ngwara Chiku from you, Aposke no Wakama? What separated AJBGN? Even this one now, what's his name? OCG. <laughs> we are also watching the way you are managing OCG. Hmm. That young man that risked his life here and there. We know, we know how that young man was risking his life, going here and there, trying to go far away for you. AJPG and we risk our life for you, Apostle Ken. I am talking to you. My name is Owen Richard and the We risk our life for you to make sure that you stand. But look at the payback we are getting. Many of us have regretted ever standing by you. Many of us have regretted in pain ever standing by you. Look at how you are paying us back, Apostle Ken Wakama. We stood by you that we can never allow this physical bullet or spiritual bullet, any kind of bullet to touch Apostle Ken Wakama. We want to be the one to carry it so that you will be able to stand to deliver. But look at the payment you are giving to us. I want to put it to you, Apostle Ken Wakama, and your cohort that if government is disqualifying you, stop pointing accusing fingers on AJPJ because why? The government of Nigeria are not stupid people. They are watching everything. Your past antecedent is what Nigerians are writing petition after you do your, your broadcast and you tell Nigerians that you never collected every any loan from nigerians oh you never collected any money from nigerians apart from the loan of 100,000 naira of 100,000 naira nigerians got angry and there's some enemies of you of that that have been looking for for any point for them to strike they begin to write petitions so many of the petitions that wanted to carry out an arrest on you are and go ahead and make a call and stop it but you are my brother i don't hate you but i would um, i have i want to tell you i want to tell you the truth before your face that we all know what we are doing now hjpgm all of us have become enemies all of us have become enemies and we want to tell you we know the game some grand handlers played trying to scatter hjpgm that is even when i, I get i mean my grief the day i got angry it's when I saw some move of some grand handlers trying to buy some fellow members of AJPGN, people of interest, people of interest. When I left, I left Cuba Global Foundation. I know how much I spent there. I mean, I invested in Cuba Global Foundation. But the day I choose <clears throat> to leave, or well, AJPGN choose to stand against against Cuba Global Foundation, I should buy my people as a comrade. Without notwithstanding how much I was to lose or what was at stake, that is comradeship. But when, when some grand handlers notice some fable minded people, people of interest that is unstable, they begin to call them clues, begin to manipulate them. I received a call one particular day from one woman and from one man, one woman and one grand handler, and what they were inciting of is tribe tribe my people my people and i told them clear categorically that please i have never seen abdu is so rational he's so national in what he's doing he is not as a matter of fact every one of us let me say anything clear no one in lgbt has sacrificed out of love for apostle ken like abdu so everybody want to crucify Osadawood. What about Osadawood that was in the prison? And I know secret missions we sent Osadawood to many camp that were standing against Apostle Ken in order to stand against them, in order for us to be able to over overthrow them down and make you a age Apostle Ken to stand. This is the way we are being we are being paid back by blackmailing us, doing this mind game that is going on to blackmail us. What is the offense of everybody that work with you? Every general people that work with you today, even this this one, I don't know what to quantify him. You uh, OCG, see the way you are managing him now. <laughs> see the way you are managing him. Is well, please. I want to say this in clear. I don't want to begin to elaborate the way. Even what the lies Apostle Ken cooked up in in his defense over the 200, 120, 000, 120 million naira, which he said that he, he he which he lied to the government that he realized from from the hundred thousand naira loan 
at the time of at the time of screening but we know the exact amount and people in the authority wanted to have it but we withheld it from them pleaded for them to leave it go <coughs> these are the arsenal the things we can release i don't know but they are throwing stones people that are living in a glass house are the one throwing stones the stone you throw when only one will be used and everybody in your camp will be on the floor <laughs> because truth standard sure and is unshakable come what may do whatever hit ajpgn you can never stop them because for as long as they are standing on a solid ground which is truth almighty god will always stand by them almighty god will always stand by them we are getting evidences the people are talking about i don't know, even i wasn't in support of it was out of anger you people are the one when you saw that you are lo losing out when i say you are losing out when the petition that is going on and the government people is analyzing everything and seeing past antecedents and the past antecedents past apostle i want to tell you that the brokers the english television brokers you made you shot yourself at your leg that is it is not ajpj that sent you you didn't consult us then you go and do that your brokers you should remember if you can see them and they analyze and tell yourself the truth when you we are working with ajpgn you should remember how smooth the going was <laughs> you should remember how the going was it is a pity that a man god will send helpers be you who even christ in all his destiny needed peter needed disciples no man is <laughs> no man can succeed without people without God sending you the sea helpers and it is an irony if you could if you one day think that your helpers are your enemies and you begin to call them enemies and begin to fight them the god who sent them will be offended and if god be offended with you sorry stop stop pointing and giving figures on human beings this is my word to you apostle ken wakama we we are fighting with you and fighting for you and fighting for nigerians because our automotive and sand an assertion is let this blessing get to Nigerians. That is all. We don't even mind anybody. But we choose to stand by you. Even when we are noticing many, many things. Blackmail have been coming from your camp that we have changed, that your name is in the document. We have been asking where is the proof of this name that is in the document. Your name is in the document that there is manipulation because you are an evil person that your name has been removed. We, I, I personally call a young lady, the Jacinta Mba, to call you, let me talk with you people, that it no longer makes sense to me that you people should be coming out before I guess and be saying that you are a person should be coming out and be saying that that you are a grand handler whose name is who do not know that you are a grand handler your name is in document this and that i will call you and three or four this i say please if i will advise forget about anything contrary director forget about anything 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 this is my own personal advice as a brother out of law forget about anything uh, i am my name is there and my name is not there Work with the people God is giving you in peace. Let the blessings of God come to the people of Nigeria so that God will take his glory. But no, evil advisors, God, who, oh, I mean, I don't know whom brought them to you. Let me not say God or the devil. Evil advisors that surround you, Apostle Ken Wakama, keep pointing to you. I want to put it to you today, Apostle Ken Wakama. Whatsoever that regards you inside you, that tells you, that HJPGN is an enemy and you choose HJPGN as an enemy is a very big problem for you it's a very big problem for you because why god cannot send help us to you and you call them evil and god will be happy with you it's not done please because we all work for you we all was in the midnight i know the day we went and a higher entourage for you i mean i mean convoy of cars for, for you doing everything we, we are willing to take you to after all whosoever i want to stand against you should stand against all of us but today i want to say it in conclusion i was scared i want to stop pointing and kissing fingers at hjpgn pastor john pastor felix abdul and all of us because why it is your past antecedent that your enemies are using to write petitions against you and even my people have been fighting for you trying to stop doses from prevailing against you but I, I can tell you ajpgn have had enough from you i don't think that they will they will see anything that concerns you they put their eye in it again whether it's of evil or good it is your business please stop this game 
Grand community, you people should hear me and hear me clear. I don't care whosoever that is manipulating people trying to cause chaos in grand community so that government will disqualify this, will disqualify this disbursement because of lack of peace in the in the in the lack of serenity in the community. Whosoever that is playing this play, playing this drum, beating this drum for you people is not doing you any good. Use your sense. The attitude of if I lose out, everybody loses out is not of God, it's of the devil. Every one of you should mind yourself. As for Abdul, the president of AJPGN, executive members of AJPGN, including of me, Pastor John and Pastor Felix, or whosoever, I don't care whomsoever they want to use, whether not Chief Akogu, whether not, I don't know you people in grand community, whosoever the government want to use, because this money is something that's supposed to be operated and be handled by non-governmental organizations. And God is, uh, government is, government of Nigeria is very wise and mindful that they want to use non-governmental organization to handle this but they are looking for <clears throat> a qualified person they are looking for people that are qualified ajpgn i repeat in conclusion we are not the people who went writing petitions we are not the people who send up and one camera to go to a television station in nigeria and deny of collecting money from nigerians apart from the loan he took that triggered people to begin to call him and begin to write petitions and besides that, my AJPGN have been behindly trying to defend Apostle Ken. He who has an ear, let him hear. He who has a tongue, let him count his feet. You are doing because of whatsoever that has been promised you, whatsoever you want to gain. Gain my truth. My name is always Richard Andrew Base. I stand by truth because it is truth that is the solid ground that, will, that can never go down. And it is truth, the solid ground that will exalt the simple internally. God bless you all. My name is Owa Luchan and Basic. You people make this voice note get to my brother. I didn't hate him, all. but whatsoever that will cause chaos in grand community, that the government will look at the community and see there is no serenity, serenity and they will disqualify the disbursement this period. God will not be happy with whosoever that participates and contributed to that. This is my warning. This is God's warning. God bless you all.